In this video, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of living in Whitby, Ontario. If you're looking for your next home in the Durham region, Whitby's probably at the top of your list of cities to consider, and for good reason. Whitby is an amazing place to call home. But I do have a few negative points, so you'll want to stick around till the end of the video to hear what those are. So if you're wondering what Whitby, Ontario is all about, this video is for you. If we haven't met yet, my name is Zillia of True Love. I'd love to help you with your move to or within the Durham region. All my contact information is included in the description below, so let's get into it. I'm going to start with the pros in no particular order. Pro number one, Whippy has some really amazing neighborhoods to choose from and great communities you'll want to be a part of. From Brooklyn in the north to Whippy Shores in the south and the many gorgeous neighborhoods in between, you'll find so many great areas to consider moving to. You'll find beautiful homes, but also family events, sports clubs, and groups you can take part in to really make Whitby feel like home for you and your family. I have a video that goes into more detail about what I think are the four best neighborhoods in Whitby, so you'll definitely want to check that video out next. But overall, Whitby is really just filled with amazing neighborhoods and communities throughout. Pro number two is that there are lots of recreation opportunities here. There are fantastic playgrounds throughout Whitby, McKinney is where you'll find one of Whitby's arenas, but in behind the rinks, there's also a great playground with a splash park, and there's also a skate park here. Whitby has some great hockey rinks. I already mentioned McKinney, but also Iroquois, which is right behind me here. It has six pads, an indoor pool, and the Whitby Ability Center. Whitby's a waterfront city, and one of the highlights is the Port of Whitby. Port Whitby Marina is a full-service marina. There's a yacht club, and they offer youth camps where you can learn to sail. You can go for a walk along the waterfront, use a boat launch to go kayaking or stand up paddle boarding, and there's even some great fishing here. Hayden Shore Park is also here at the waterfront with a playground and splash park, and when you're done playing, you can grab a drink at the town brewery. There are walking trails and conservation areas throughout Whitby. Keeper Downs is a really popular spot, but Lindy Shores has to be my favorite place to spend a couple of hours. Make sure you bring some bird seed and patience so that you can feed the chickadees. If you're a golfer, there are lots of golf courses throughout Durham. And in the winter, there are two ski hills just north of Whitby in Uxbridge, Dagmar, and Lakebridge. So even from downtown Whitby, it's less than a 25 minute drive to both of those hills. Pro number three, Whitby has great schools. Whitby schools have consistently ranked higher in Fraser Institute rankings. Now, the Fraser Institute hasn't released new numbers in a couple of years, but they do plan to release new numbers in the fall of this year. So I'll definitely make updated school videos when those rankings are released. And we'll see how things have changed. But overall, Whitby's known for having good schools. If you're looking for local private school, you'll find options in Whitby as well, including the all-girls Trafalgar Castle School, which, well, it looks like Hogwarts, and I just love it. Pro number four, Whitby has fantastic sports programs specifically youth hockey and lacrosse. Now, living in Oshawa myself, my middle son, who has had to play against them in both sports year after year, would definitely consider Whitby their main rivals. So I have to as well. But there's no denying that they consistently lead the rankings in both of these sports. Their house league programs are also really well run. My oldest and youngest have been part of their house league hockey and lacrosse programs, and they're great. But especially if you have a kid playing rec sports, these are teams your kids will want to be on. I already mentioned there's a few great rinks in Whitby, but the kids can also come out and play ball hockey or lacrosse at this outdoor rink here behind me, which is at Willow Park, when they need to get some extra practice time in. Pro number five is historic downtown Whitby. If you're looking for somewhere with that historic downtown area, Whitby has it. Cute coffee shops with the most delicious drinks and pastries, pubs with outdoor patios to grab a pint, fantastic restaurants and shops, beautiful architecture, You'll find all of this in downtown Whitby. There's a farmer's market here and some awesome events like a beer fest and Christmas market. You can decide to buy right in this area if you want to walk to everything. But even if you purchase outside of downtown, you're still just a short drive or a bus ride away. Side note, Whitby actually has two historic downtown areas. The second one is up in Brooklyn. I talk about it more in my next video that goes over the four best neighborhoods in Whitby, so you'll want to check that one out. And lastly, pro number six, it's an easy commute to Toronto. From downtown Whitby to downtown Toronto, it's only about 40 minutes direct driving. You've got lots of options with the 401, the 407. Depending on where in the city you're going, you can also take Highway 7 right across the top of the city. And the Go runs here as well. Now, full disclosure, 
this 40 minutes is without traffic and you're probably gonna have traffic. During the typical rush hour times, before and after normal work hours, it can get pretty bad. But I also feel like over the last few years or so, traffic has just gotten worse throughout the entire GTA. But a bonus, the east end traffic always does seem to be a little better than the west end traffic, at least in my opinion. So there's lots of good in Whitby. So what are the downsides to moving here? Negative number one is high property taxes. Now, this is a Durham region overall negative. Whitby does not have the highest property taxes in Durham. Oshawa wins that title. But if you're comparing it to Toronto taxes, they're high. And because property taxes, or sorry, because properties tend to be assessed at higher values, that doesn't help the situation. The 2023 rate is about 1.19 compared to around 0.66% in Toronto. Negative number two is higher prices for homes. Now this is relative. So if you're one of the many families moving out of Toronto, then you will get a lot more home for your money in Whitby compared to the city. The average price of a detached home in Whitby in June 2023 was just over $1,220,000. Not even looking at downtown, but comparing it to, say, Scarborough in the E8 area, the average there was over $1.6 And that house in Whitby is likely going to be a bigger house in a great neighbourhood for less money. But if you're looking at the rest of the Durham region, Whitby has the third highest average sale price when looking at all home, temps, all home types combined for June 2023 behind only Uxbridge and Pickering. So overall, the prices are higher when comparing it to the whole Durham region, but you'll get way more house for your money compared to Toronto, and maybe even pay less than you would in Pickering or Uxbridge. My final negative is that there is some lack of amenities. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot going on here, like I've already discussed. Lots of shopping and restaurants and recreation, but it's missing some things. There's no hospital, for example. You'll need to go to Ajax or Oshawa for the closest hospitals. While you'll find a lot of what you do need shopping wise, if you want certain stores like Costco, for example, again, you're looking at Ajax or Oshawa. There's also no big indoor mall. Pickering in Oshawa is where you'll find those. And if you wanna see, for example, a big concert closer to home, you'll have to head into Oshawa to the Tribute uh, Community Center for that as well. But again, these are not super far distances to go for these things, and likely you won't find it to be too much of an inconvenience. So that sums up my pros and cons for living in Whitby, Ontario. Like I mentioned earlier in my video, you'll want to check out my other video on the four best neighborhoods in Whitby. And if you want to see more videos about Whitby and the, the rest of the Durham region in general, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you need any help with purchasing real estate in the Durham region, Remember to reach out anytime. Thanks so much for watching.